Hi there, this is a special quick fire episode from Co-op Online to bring you the behind the scenes sneak peek at the new book from React entitled Air Tattoo 50, the story of the world's greatest air show. So just quickly, this is your last chance to order this. It's midnight tonight to, in order to guarantee Christmas delivery. So you're gonna have to get in there pretty quick. So yeah, just in time for Christmas, our friends at the Royal International Air Tattoo have released a book that celebrates the 50th anniversary of the show. Now as well as all the head scratching as to how to make 2021 work successfully so far I might add, the team has spent the summer months putting together this 300 page hardback tribute to the men, women and machines that have made up the epic show since 1971. The book details the history of the Royal International Air Tattoo decade by decade, show by show. Now, I've not actually had a hard copy of this thing yet, but in their own words, it's insightful, fascinating, and at times humorous. It's the perfect mix of aviation photographs showing us the finest lineup, displays, and fly past, mixed with the behind the scenes stories of, and some never before told tales. Sounds pretty good. The book also includes a complete list of every flying display award winner, interviews with legendary display pilots from across the decades personal anecdotes and tales from others involved in bringing together some of the most iconic aircraft that we've ever seen to the air tattoo. It also charts some of the challenges that the team have overcome too, such as losing its home at RAF Greenham Common in 1983, the death of co-founder and creative force Paul Bowen in 2004, establishing a new parent charity, the RAF Charitable Trust in 2005, and the airshow cancellations of 2008 and of course 2020. But forget all that, is the book actually any good? Well, because we work so closely with RIT, we've been privileged to be able to bring you a sneak peek at the selection of page spreads directly from the book to your screen. What a treat, here we go. The book follows the show chronologically with spreads allocated to the year and images from the show sensibly designed around it. It's got a fun, engaging feel to it. The shots really draw you in, such as this spread from 1973. A good example of how the design breaks up over the years with 1974's header spread that has got some really truly classic types on show. Just look at that lineup from 1987. And that's the kind of reaction I'm getting every time I open one of these spreads. It's a really nice touch also to see the show badges and the program artworks. I'm sold. Another spread from 1987 shows a gallery of images. The overall feel here is not of a like a super slick corporate monster, but of that of a family album. And I think that's what would keep me returning to pick it up off the shelf time and time again. It's like reliving it, a connection that would translate to the enthusiast as well as the military participant or indeed vendor. 1989, a lot more text here, so it's useful to see that the book has also got a lot of meat to it. There's also the chance to see a lot of personalities behind the scenes too. 1991, epic, what a show. And with so much hairspray, perms and shell suits on display to match the awesome colours of the jets on static. A good example of the anecdotes involved is shown by this 1996 spread detailing some of the antics that the Russian crews got up to. Great stuff. Super interesting spread from 1999 with the high altitude recce shot of the Western Showground. It's one that you can get lost in for a few minutes and shows that there's also some full double page spreads in the content as well. How this works with the page fold remains to be seen, but it's good to see that not all the spreads are over two pages and that they've been chosen uh, for a specific reason that you can really get involved and I, th I think the page crease is gonna work on them. 2000 now and the move to RAF Cottesmore is covered. I was slightly distracted by that gorgeous Mirage 4 landing, but that's besides the point. I get the feeling that there'll be a ton of gems in these early 2000 years as the types completed their service life. Having them all together seems to be another great raison d'etre for this book. 2002 gets the same treatment again and it seems like a slightly different page design for these later years, interestingly, uh, which actually suits the progression through the ages in my opinion. Volunteers and what make the show work. So there's a rightful place within the pages too, such as this from 2003, good to see. This is the intro spread to the 2006 event, which talks about the start of the aerospace industry getting more and more involved in rear as a showcase. Another example of using a double page spread to good advantage with this view from the excellent Black Eagles display team, putting us right into the cockpit. I look forward to seeing how this actually works in book form. Bringing it back up to date, the 2019 spread begins with a frank assessment of the mood of the event after the first day's washout, 
as it was written by the in-house team. It's going to be really interesting to see how much of a positive push the low points of the decades are given, but this shows signs that it's been handled really well. So overall, what I really like about this is there's it's a real affinity with the event. It's like flicking through a family album. There's so many, ah oh, yes, I remember that, memories, as well as a good selection of, oh man, I didn't actually know that, elements all in the mix of the book. Uh, it looks to be a great Christmas sit-down treat if you get your order sent in in time. So the 300 page book with dimensions of 295 by 250 by 50 millimeters is available from the Air Tattoo Shop online for a very reasonable 30 quid. Now it's a heavy book, so postage and packaging is a little bit higher than usual, sounding around about seven pounds for UK delivery. So tonight, midnight, is the deadline. You have until midnight tonight to ensure that you get this before Christmas. As we look forward with hope for 2021, this is a really great way to forget about the headaches of 2020 and immerse yourself in the way things used to be. It looks like it'll be one to get stuck into time and time again. Thanks for watching.